Welcome to the Rocker Nerd Podcast. I am the Rocker Nerd. My name is Gary Shutt. This is Gimme 5 Trivia. Here's how we play, if you haven't done this yet. This is episode 10, by the way. Yay! Give me a yay. Thanks, now shut up. <laughs> each episode has a theme with 20 randomly pre-selected organized questions. Each question has a category. You will be given five clues. You then have to guess the main article. If it's a five in a row, that means the clue list will be an album track listing or movie soundtrack listing in order as listed on the album. Also, if you want super nerd ego points, name the year the answer was released, like when the album came out or when the movie came out. This episode is all things rock. You ready to play? Here we go. Question one, alternative rock. It's a five in a row. These are the first five song titles listed on the album. Give me the artist, the album title, and what year it came out. Doll. Monkey Wrench. Hey Johnny Parr. My Poor Brain. Wind Up. Answer. Foo Fighters, The Color and the Shape, released in 1997. Question two. Classic Rock. This is the first five. First five song titles listed on the album. Here we go. Give me the band, the album title, and the year it was released. Speak to me. Breathe, parentheses, in the air. On the run. Time. The great gig in the sky. Answer. Pink Floyd, The Dark Side of the Moon, came out in 1973. Question three. It's a five in a row. Classic rock. Here's the first five songs. Hotel California. New Kid in Town. Life in the Fast Lane. Wasted Time. Victim of Love. Answer. Eagles, Hotel California, came out in 1976. Question four. Modern Rock. It's a five in a row. The first five track listings on the album. Give me the band, the album title, and the year it came out. Imperium. Kaiserion. If I'm saying that correctly. Spillways. Call Me Little Sunshine. Hunter's Moon. Answer. Ghost. Imperia. Came out in 2022. Seen them live. Really good. And for a metal band, they're quite pop. I like them a lot. Anyway. Question five. Hard Rock. Five in a row. The first five tracks. Pound Cake. Judgment Day. Spanked. Run Around. Pleasure Dome. One of my all-time favorite bands. Answer. Van Halen for Unlawful Carnal Knowledge came out in 1991. Question six. What do these bands have in common? Whitesnake. Ozzy Osbourne. Quiet Riot. Blue Oyster Cult. And Ingve Malmsteen. This is a this is a tough one. All right, nerds, ready? Nerd! Answer. At some point, Rudy Sarzo played bass for them. Question seven. I'm going to give you five album titles. You tell me what band it is. Warning. Q2K. Rage for Order. Promised Land. Operation Mind Crime. Answer. Queensryche. Question eight. 
I'm going to give you five album titles. Tell me the band. British Steel. Painkiller. Turbo. Defenders of the Faith. Screaming for Vengeance. Answer. Another one of my all-time favorite metal bands. Judas Priest. Question nine. I'm going to give you five album titles. Tell me the band. Dynasty. Rock and Roll Over. The Elder. Psycho Circus. Destroyer. Answer. Kiss. Never got to see them back in the day. I only got to see them back in the 2000s when it was uh, the two new guys. Question 10. Prog rock band album titles. I'm going to give you five album titles. You tell me the band. Octavarium. Systematic Chaos. Black Clouds and Silver Linings. A Dramatic Turn of Events. Breaking the Fourth Wall. Answer. Have I said my favorite metal band enough in this episode? This is Dream Theater. <laughs> Seen them a lot of times. Did the pre-show for them at Ruth Eckerd. Uh, twice, I think. I can brag and stuff like that. It's Q. Question 11. What do these bands have in common? Ozzy Osbourne. Whitesnake. Pat Travers. Black Oak, Arkansas. Ted Nugent. Oh, deep cut here. Tommy Aldridge at one point played with all of these guys. Question 12. Classic rock. This is a five in a row. The first five tracks. Give me the artist, the album, and what year it was released. Hello there. Come on, come on. Look out. Big eyes. Need your love. Picture 10,000 screaming Japanese chicks in the background. Answer. Cheap Trick at Budokan. Came out in 1978. Question 13. Metal albums. This is the first five. These are the first five songs listed on the album. Give me the band, the album title, and what year it came out. One More for the Road. Master of the Moon. End of the World. Shivers. The Man That Would Be King. Answer. Dio, Master of the Moon, came out in 2004. I saw Dio back in the 80s at some uh, concert venue in New Jersey, and the, the entire crowd was throwing firecrackers and bottle rockets and M80s. It was, it was really scary and dangerous, but me and my friends somehow survived, even though our old seats got blown up. It was, it was, very, it was a very weird show. If, uh, if any of you listening were at that show, send me your memory in an email. Uh, my contact is on the website, therockernerd.com. Here we go. Question nine. Classic rock albums. This is the first five. The first five tracks on this album. Give me the album, the band, and what year it came out. Distant Early Warning. After Image. Red Sector A. The Enemy Within. The Body Electric. Answer. Rush. Grace Under Pressure. Came out in 1984. Saw them on that tour too. Meadowlands Arena. New Jersey. I believe. Question 10. Modern Metal. This is the first five. The first five songs listed on this album. Give me the band, the album, and what year it came out. Remnants. Let me try and pronounce that better. Remnants. R-E-M-N-A-N-T-S. Remnants. Asylum. The Infection. Warrior. Another Way to Die. 
Answer. Disturbed Asylum came out in 2010. Saw them twice. They're great live. Question 11. Metal albums. This is the first five. The first five songs on this album. Give me the album title, the band, and what year it came out. Strength Beyond Strength. Becoming. Five Minutes Alone. I'm Broken. Good Friends and a Bottle of Pills. Answer. Pantera. Far Beyond Driven came out in 1994. Question 17. Metal albums. This is another first five. At the Graves. Sleepless Nights. Lies. A Visit from the Dead. The Wedding Dream. So I go from this uh, to this. <laughs> oh, God. Answer. King Diamond Conspiracy came out in 1989. Question 18. Alternative Rock. These are the first five tracks on the album. Give me the band, the album, and what year it came out. Pretty Noose. Rhinosaur. Zero Chance, Dusty, Ty Cobb, Blow Up the Outside World. Answer. Soundgarden, Down on the Upside, came out in 1996. Question 19. Hard Rock. This is the first five. I'm going to say modern hard rock, okay? Rise. Hashtag rebel. Banshee. Other side of the rainbow. Small town beautiful. Answer. Another one of my favorite bands of all time. How am I picking these out? This is Extreme. The album is called Six. It came out in 2023. Very recent. Great album. Check it out. They're currently on tour at the moment. They just announced dates with Godsmack. That's a that's a great build. Must be a Boston thing. Question 20. This is it. Metal albums. This is the first five. Wake Up Dead. The Conjuring. Peace Cells. Devil's Island. Good morning. Slash Black Friday. Answer. Megadeth. Peace sells. But who's buying? Ain't that the truth? Dave Mustaine. Thanks for hanging out again. I am Gary Shutt, the rocker nerd. I have a different visual trivia game over on YouTube called What Do You Know? Go find it and then subscribe to that too. That's a lot of fun. All my media links are on my website, therockernerd.com. There's a music player there too. Everything that I've written specifically for these episodes are on that player. There's a lot of music there. This theme song is off of one of my albums. There are all over the streaming services. Go find those, stream it, turn it up, play it loud. I'll get a check for five cents next year if you do. I'll be set free. Until the next show, never stop learning. Bye.